Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience. Now you know I believe in saves before doing any mission and I'm now I'm just about to do Mass Fusion. Of course I'm stepping back in time to the time when I did do it and it made me do what I did at the director's Busy day meeting. for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Okay, so the details are that you'll have to go to the mass fusion. Uh, that'll make you enemies of the Brotherhood, and you'll lose Boston Airport. Uh, the other alternative is to go to the Brotherhood straight away and um, not lose uh, Boston Airport, but then become an enemy of the Institute. Right, well, the game forces you down this road, and there's nothing you can do about it, unless you do what I did, which is... After Bunker Hill, you go to the director's meeting and you uh, basically kill all the heads of department. And that's what I did, uh, rather than do this. So, anyway, this will play out and we'll go to the mass fusion and, and take it from there. So, getting Ali not to come with you is the prime objective because, of course, you can't go to the Brotherhood of Steel with her. Because, well, you could, because that's the only chance you get to maybe kill her but you won't get a chance to kill any of the others, uh, like Justin Ayo, which you have to kill in order to get Sheep's clothing to activate. So it's very easy to put her off, uh, have to move the game allows it. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to Mass Fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. Okay, so if you're at the stage now with Captain Kells that he wants to send you to kill the railroad, you can still do this mission with that still in play. And the way to do that, move close to Captain Kells and he'll initiate the uh, conversation. And all you've got to do then is move away from him. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. Move away from him. Come back here now, Paladin. This briefing isn't over. And then head back towards the front of the ship. The Institute wants me to get something called a beryllium agitator from the ruins of mass fusion. A beryllium... After you've done that, Kells will fall silent and it will just be the conversation between you and Ingram and deciding how and where you're going to get this beryllium agitator. Right, so let's cut the story short and move on a bit. It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. Okay, so we're approaching mass fusion. I like to have um, jet and uh, all kinds of wonderful drugs on the uh, hotkeys. So I can at any time slow down the action and have a good go at shooting them like this. Works great. Uh, so that's one of the ways to clear all the suits off the deck. Because, I mean, you only really get two or one or two trips around the uh, tower before you have to land. But I'm getting ahead of myself, actually, you have to actually jump out of the uh, vertibird. Um, you don't land. But of course, you get more points if you do it without the jet. Okay, so that's the second time around the tower that we've been. And uh, there's still quite a lot down there, but we start slowly clearing them out. Okay, so we've been given the, uh, the order to bail out, so he's going to turn the helicopter around and we're going to jump out onto the roof and finish off whatever's left. Go, 
So jumping from the helicopter can be an issue. For me, it says press enter, even though enter isn't actually my action key. Uh, yeah, it can cause confusion, but uh, you get there in the end. Okay, so that's the Mass Fusion Executive ID, which you can only find out if you go to the Mass Fusion either with the Institute or the Brotherhood of Steel. You can't get it any other way. Got that terminal over there. Wow, well, at least we're starting at the top. So, off we go down. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. I like to use Barry Mentats, that tells me where the synths are coming out. Of course, you get more points if you shoot them out right and kill them, uh, but if you miss somebody, you don't get so many points. Okay, so that's that explained. Uh, we go through a bit. Sometimes the game glitches when it gets to this, and it passes from this stage to this stage. Sometimes it glitches. It hasn't glitched this time. Excellent. So we're just going to go down and carry on. Is someone present? Stop right That's how we do You're going. Here. You're coming with me. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Something's out. Yes. What a waste of time. Okay, so you get the Brilliant Meditate and you take it back and you plug it into to Liberty Prime. But then what happens? Liberty Prime goes on a rampage towards the CIT ruin and it blows up one of the bridges that the provisioners use. It's basically the bridge that leads to County Crossing. Blows up that bridge, and that that forces the provisioners to go all go a separate way. So I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to try and get Liberty Prime to go the way I want it to go, which is downtown towards the uh, the submarine area. So of course, this is what happened anyway. So what I did is I put a car in the way of the Liberty Prime. So on one side of Liberty Prime is the all the knights and the, the brothers of steel, and on the other side now is this car. So it's in the way. So hopefully it will stop Liberty Prime from going this way and get it to go the other way. So yeah, so in order to get Liberty Prime done, you've got to plug in the agitator. Now I did think about uh, getting McCready to stand in front of the button and press it while I, uh, before I put in, just after I put in the agitator, because I found out that while you're putting the agitator in, you can actually stand on Liberty Prime's shoulders. And I thought, wouldn't that be great if I could stand on their shoulders while they marched into battle. 
So I jumped onto his shoulders. Unfortunately, I, I could have possibly had uh, McCready in there. It is an idea for later. I don't know if it would work, but that was my idea at the time. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, didn't get it sorted out. Fusion core reinitialized. Okay. So I stood at the other side and tried to get him over. Now it says here, follow Liberty Prime, but as you can see, he's not actually looking at me and waiting for me to do something. So it nearly went this way. And if I'd only perhaps maybe a few more cars down the other side would have stopped it from going that, that way and getting it to go this way, which is a completely different way. Uh, as you can see, I ran down and it sort of glitched through the wall. So that was that. Since no worry. Okay, so we followed the Liberty Prime to its end and let it drill through the roof. Obstruction eliminated. So all that was left was to enter the institution. I thought, hang on a minute, let's have a look at this. So I left it a while and came back at night to find out if I could kill Maxon, and I found out that it. Do it, it is impossible to do after you go into the Institute. So you can't get his coat after you do this with him. And that's another reason why I went and did what I did at the Mankind Redefined meeting. Okay, so that's this film for the end. As you can see, Maxon is uh, coming up to be killed. So I'll leave it all there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.